Okay, so it says it says moving information from the house of residential to death. So what is where it came from is broadcasting. Now it's saying it's on Facebook Live. So as soon as I see security paper, just set up. it on this one here. I thought the picture was just on here, but I don't know what happened. Okay, it was just on here. Oh, Lord, we didn't get this right tonight. It's okay. It's been, it's been a trial, but it's all right. We're going to learn how to do this right. Come on, thanks. I'm acting crazy. Yes. Can you can hear me? Okay, we're live. We're good to go. Live and no more issues. Okay. <laughs> oh, let's pray. <laughs> Father, we thank you, Lord God. We praise your holy name. Mm. Father, I just, uh, I just thank you, Lord God. I thank you for this opportunity, Lord God. I thank you for the opportunity to stand in your stead, Lord God. I ask, Lord God, that you just move me out of the way, Lord God. Use me, Lord God, for your glory to edify your people, Lord God. I ask you, Father God, to bless the woman of God, Lord God. Bless her, Lord God. Mm, just increase her the more, Lord God. I just thank you, Lord God, for this platform, this opportunity, Lord God. Bless the people, Lord God, as they come in, Lord God. Let me say something, Lord God, that, Lord God, just resonate with them, Lord God, to just encourage us, Lord God, mm, to just go, go forth, Lord God, to glorify you, Father God. I just thank you, Lord God. We praise your holy name, Father God. In Jesus' name, I pray, Father. Mm. The enemy is mad. <laughs> just whatever. But we're not going to Give him no glory. We're just going to praise God and we're just going to go forth. In Jesus' name, again, I just thank you, Pastor Rosemary, for giving me this opportunity to stand on your platform. So when Pastor Rosemary reached out to me um, to speak, I just laughed because <laughs> I really wanted to tell her no. But it was like, 
she was reading my mind because I was actually talking about um, the power of our words. And a lot of times because of tradition and what we taught, we say things unknowingly. Um, so I just, I was like, okay, God, this is you. Um, so I, I, I just couldn't help but say yes. And um, where um, I went uh, was the, the gospel of Luke, where they were talking about the birth of John the Baptist, um, specifically um, the first chapter, actually the, in its entirety, but I focus um, mainly on uh, verses 11 through 20, when the angel of the Lord came to Zacharias and when the angel appeared, Zacharias was initially frightened. And uh, verse 11 reads, while Zacharias was in the sanctuary and an angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing to the right of the incense altar, Zacharias was uh, shaken and overwhelmed with fear when he saw him, but the angel said, don't be afraid, Zechariah. God has, um, has heard your prayer. Your wife, Elizabeth, will give you a son and you will name, you will name him John. You will have great joy and glad gladness and many will rejoice at his birth for he will be great in the eyes of the Lord he must never touch wine or other alcohol, al alcoholic drink. He will be filled with the Holy Spirit even before his birth. And he will turn many Israelites to the Lord, their God. He will be a man with the spirit and power of Elijah. He will prepare for the people for the coming of the Lord. He will turn the hearts of the fathers and their children. He will cause those who are rebellious to accept the wisdom of the godly. Zechariah said to the angel, how can I be sure this will happen? I am an old man now and my wife is also well along in years. Then the angel said, I am Gabriel. I stand in the very presence of God. It was he who sent me to bring you this good news. But now, since you didn't believe what I said, you will be silenced and unable to speak until the child is born. For my words will certainly be fulfilled at the, the proper time. So, mm, how many times do we get a word and the word is confirmed and we still doubt, you know, and God's word is always confirmed by the Logos. Here it is, he's visited by an angel that stands in the presence of God. I mean, what more do you need? And yet he's still questioning, how do I know that this will happen? And to help him not void the promise that God has made, he's been praying, him and his wife has been praying for, for a child and the angel Gabriel comes to him and say, hey, the Lord has heard your prayers and he's going to give you what you ask for. God's word says that, you know, if you delight yourself in him, he'll give you the desires of your heart. And he's still questioning. And in those times, you know, they kind of looked at you sideways. Um, 
for women if you didn't have a child, you know, and men if you didn't have a son to carry on your lineage. So God is giving you what you asked for. So the angel's like, hey, let me help you out. I'm going to silence you so you don't void out your promise. Because let's go a step further. The word also says that death and life is in the power of your tongue. So sometimes we curse ourselves because we just don't know how to hush. We don't know how to hush. I mean, going through life, I can recall, you know, growing up, people saying, oh, my, you know, this hurt. Oh, this is killing me. Um, oh, I love you to death. Don't love me to death. Love me to life. So we have to learn to speak something different, change, change the way we, we talk, change our confessions. So um, this, this, the title God gave me just, it, it resonated so much with this particular story, you know, by faith, what are we allowing our tongue to declare over our lives? You know, Zacharias, a man of faith, a priest, him and his wife come from, you know, the priest lineage. They're upright, righteous in, in God's eyes and still questioning and doubting God. And when I look up the definition for faith, it's unquestionable belief, specifically in God, complete trust. And, you know, let's, let's be honest, you know, sometimes we trust and believe God for some things and then other areas it's like mm, I, don't, I don't know God I, I, I want to trust you um, I'm trying to trust you and all God asks is you know that we have the faith of a mustard seed and I mean a mustard seed you know it's it's small you know maybe the size of the tip of this this ink pen. He's not asking for much, you know. And even um, just learn to declare. We we have to change our our thought process. We we have to come out of agreement with the things that we were brought up in. And I've been around, you know, friends, family members that, and their excuses is what I, I was taught. But the word says that, you know, when you've been adopted into the family of Christ, old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. So you shouldn't identify any longer with the things that you know you were taught not saying that you throw your family away we still love our family but you know we need to learn to identify with our new family you know our inheritance that we now have with with Christ and so let's go back to when, so what happens when God sends a, um, releases a word, he sends a message and that message you know, is always gonna, like I said, line up with the logo, his logos. And look at 
Zacchaeus' reaction. We, we have to check our reaction. Him being a man of faith, he should have had a different reaction than what he did. But not that, you know, we're not allowed to question God. If we look at Mary, when the angel of the Lord came to Mary, um, and told her that she would have a child. Her question was, how could this be? Because I've never been, I've, I've never known a man. I'm still a virgin. But Zacchaeus's or Zechariah's reasoning was because my wife and I are too old. But it, it's almost like, or not almost like, he was saying, um, God can't do what he says he's going to do. So both asking a question, but the reasoning behind the questioning was different. Um. And Zacharias and Elizabeth was praying, but when the answer came, almost like they were, were praying, but praying amiss. Like, yeah, I'm praying, but I, I don't believe what, what I'm praying. So why, why pray? If you don't even believe what you um, what you're praying for, so and you know we we have to be careful about that. Um, or are you just doing it just to do it, just doing it out of ritual, or are you doing it because you truly trust God to do what He said? His word says my word will not return to me void, but it will accomplish what I sent it out to do. So if God said, it, you know, I'm going to do this, he's going to do just that. You stand on his promise, stand on his word. And that's that. That's, you know, no, no question about it. Um, and it's, it's even crazier that the angel told uh, Zacharias that the child would be named John. But when John was born, and they asked what would the child's name would be. Um, Elizabeth said, his name shall be John. And everybody's looking, you know, questioning, like, where did this come from? Nobody in your family name is John. And they give Zachariah the tablet um, and say, and he, he writes, you know, his name shall be John. And at that moment, you know, then his lips, you know, was loose and he was able to speak again. Um, and he prophesied. And it, it just... Yeah, it's just a, um, a testament. Um, why did it take for his lips to be sealed, you know, throughout her pregnancy? When <laughs> just just believe, you know, God said it. That settles it. That's that's that. But a lot of times we will block our own 
blessings. You know, we could either bless ourselves or curse ourselves with the words that we speak. We absolutely need to be careful, as the Bible says, that we need to renew our minds and, and we just need to get in the habit of just doing that daily, renewing our minds on the word. Um, and not only making sure that we don't curse ourselves, but don't allow anyone else to speak um, things outside of the will of God over our lives. Um, don't come into agreement with anything that is outside the will of God. Whatever that is, you go to the doctor and you get a bad report, you know, what does God's word say? You know, that may be what is going on in the natural realm. But what does God's word say about that situation? You know, I, I'm, I'm healed by the blood of the lamb. You know, heal, healing is a children's bread. You know, e even with your finances, you, your, your finances may not be adding up in the natural realm. But God's word says that I am the lender and not the borrower. Borrow. I'm above only and not beneath. We need to just get in the habit of speaking those things. His word says that we can call those things that be not as though they were. So just get in the habit of getting up commanding our day, saying what thus said the Lord. What does God's word say about us? We were made in his image, in his likeness. So therefore, we are entitled to the inheritance of our heavenly father. We are joint heirs with Christ. So guess what? We're kingdom citizens. So therefore, we're entitled to the kingdom inheritance. So we may not have it right now, but it's coming. And we need to just get in the mindset of declaring, giving God's word back to, to him. Just, just stop singing and, and crying that humdrum and guarding our our peace our space um that's 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 important that's important that's that's so important if i've learned nothing more in in this last two years especially since this pandemic started is guarding my place of peace. I'm not gonna let anybody pull me out of my place of peace. Like if you wanna be negative, that's fine. But I know who I am in Christ. You do you, I'll pray with you. I'll pray for you, but I'm not going to let you pull, 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 because people will pull on you till you have nothing to give, and you can't take care of you if you're empty. You can't pour from, from an empty cup, and we just have to remember that. We have to take care of ourselves so we're able to take care of the things that we need to take care of the things of God, take care of the things that he's told us that we need to do. And if we're depleted spiritually, mentally, physically, we can't be about our father's business. So again, I thank God for this opportunity. I hope what I, I said, um, what God gave me, bless you guys. I don't take this opportunity 
lightly at all. I thank Pastor Rosemary for this opportunity. Um, I, let me just pray um, as I close out. Um, Father God, I just thank you, Lord God. I bless your holy name, Father. Mm. Father, I just, I thank you, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God. I just ask, Lord God, that you look over the families, Lord God, that was affected by the school shooting today, Lord God. Mm. I ask, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Father God, that you hold the families, Lord God, in your hand, Father God. Hold them tightly, Lord God. Minister to them, Lord God. Mm. <sighs> Protect the children, Lord God. Your word says that children are a blessing from you, Lord God. Mm, cover the children, Lord God. Mm, cover them, Father God. Minister to them, Lord God. We are dealing in perilous times, Father God. Mm, the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy, Father God. But you've come, Lord God, that we may have life and life more abundantly, Lord God. And I thank you, Father. Mm. Heavenly Father, I even lift up the offenders, Lord God, and their families, Lord God. Strengthen them, Lord God, as they walk out this process, Lord God. Mm. Father, I just ask that you pour out love, Father God, more love. We need more love, Father God. Heavenly Father, I ask, Lord God, that even the ones that are deal dealing with mental illness, Lord God, we're seeing an increase, Lord God. Mm of mental illness, Lord God. Mm, I just ask, Lord God, that you just minister to those that are dealing, Father God, with mental illness, Father God. Your word says, Lord God, that you did not give us the spirit of fear, but love, power, and a sound mind, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God. I thank you, Father, for a sound mind, Lord God. For those that are struggling, Lord God, give them the strength, Father, to reach out, Lord God, before they do something, Lord God that they cannot come back from, Lord God. Give them the strength to reach out, Lord God. Mm, give their family spiritual, e spiritual eyes, spiritual ears, Lord God, to see that their loved ones are struggling, Lord God. Mm, I thank you, Lord God. I thank you, Father God, for everyone that's on this broadcast, Lord God, that came out to support me, Lord God. I thank you, Father God. I thank you, Lord God. Cover them, Lord God. Cover their families, Father God. I thank you, Lord God. I thank you, Father. Mm, I thank you for your Holy Spirit, Lord God. I thank you. I praise you, Lord God. Anyone, Lord God, that may be sick, Father God, heal them, Lord God. Mm, heal them, Lord God. From the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet, Father God, pour out your healing, Lord God. I come against, Lord God, the spirit of retaliation, Lord God. Mm, anything, Lord God, that the enemy may be trying to throw at us, Lord God. Mm. We bind it, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Father God. We bind it, Lord God. Mm. And we lose, Lord God, your perfect love, Lord God. Cover each and every one, Lord God, on this vir in this virtual room, Lord God, or anyone, Lord God, that may come in to listen to this teaching, Father God. We thank you, Lord God. We praise your holy name, Father God. It's in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Pastor Rosemary. Thank you. Rosemary, uh, let me see. <laughs> uh, I'm I can hear you. I can hear you. I can hear you. Thank you so much for coming on and being hear me. Yeah, I can hear you. Can you Yeah. Okay. God bless you. Thank you so much for doing this. Um, I know it's difficult to get on because I, my first time was in um, the Zoom and it was really hard trying to get on here but I told Pastor
Pastor Roberts, I, I ain't giving up. We getting on your list a lot. She going to give you this word today. God heal away. I bless you guys. I bless every one of you. And I'm going to tell you something. I ain't, I'm going, but the next time I'm going to say this ain't right. Right, because it was a hot mess. I ain't gonna lie, but that all. the word you ain't for, and that's all that matters. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much, and God bless you. Um, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. that came out to in Jesus' name, God. And you guys all be blessed and have a good night. And I got you, Crystal. Give me a minute. <laughs> I, I I just thank God for, for how she came and she did. She did because God is using her in a mighty way. Mm, thank you. Oh, I'm this thing out still. Right, I'm we going like to figure it out. And, um, <laughs> I get to know who this Lord me. Figure it out. Yes, Lord. <laughs> we gonna get it. <laughs> Amen. You guys, God bless you. God bless you. <laughs>